Hey, I want to do a quick share here just to show you a few new things that I saw in ChatGPT this morning, which surprised me. I've looked around. I can't find any news about it, so I thought I would just call it out just in case you didn't notice it. Let's take a quick look. Okay, here we are in the standard ChatGPT experience as all of us know it, or I am a subscriber, so maybe some of this looks a little bit different to some of you, but I think a lot of these tools will will kind of transit over to the free accounts as well. But so one of the things that's interesting that I see is this sidebar. When you close the sidebar, they now have a couple icons on the left. That may seem simplistic, but to me, it's really useful to be able to go instead of having to dive into this sidebar and pull out new chat when I want to do a new chat. I want to be able to just click this. Uh, it looks like command shift O is also a new chat. So if I hit command shift O, I'll get a new title here showing me that I started a new chat. But that was probably always there. This call out is very, very nice. The library, of course, will be your images. Searching will pull up search. It's also worth saying command K is also the way to pull up search. So you can always do a search here, which also has new chat, just down arrow and you'll get to it. So, okay, easy stuff. A lot of us have already seen that, but I thought the sidebar was a really nice addition that they've added here. That one collapse is a really useful value. But let me show you the other one that was hidden. And it's something, my gosh, I've been looking for for a long, long time. Okay, here's what we're going to show you. We're going to very quickly create a new custom GPT. Some of you may have never seen this. I think this may only be in the subscriber. I think you can use custom GPTs, but you might not be able to create them. Uh, so what the way to do this thing is if you come into your list here, you'll see a whole collection of GPTs. If you select GPTs, you can do a create. Create will come to this two panel experience that you can either type in the elements that you want, or you can go through a create process here where it'll ask you questions and kind of interview you to create it. We're going to go through configuration very, very quickly here. So all I want to do is create something that can help us brainstorm. Some of y'all might have seen a couple days ago, I released a video around brainstorming and a way to really extend your ability to use ChatGPT. I could not create a custom GPT because of the cool feature we're just about to see, like in just a minute or two. But first, we need to create a custom GPT to show it off. So let's create a custom GPT that knows how to ask what kind of brainstorming solution would you like to try here? Let's give that a shot. OK, I'll call it brainstormer. OK, the next thing I did is I need to put the system instructions in here. And these are pretty big system instructions. You might notice if you take a look at these huge system instructions. So it's trying to be really specific about how to help. But I'll tell you how I showed this. Of course, I've done a whole video on brainstorming, so I have a lot of ideas there. But what I did is I dropped a lot of that information here into a, a new chat with ChatGPT, just, just for O. And then I came back and said, I'm building a custom GPT. Can you help me come up with a prompt and all the things I kind of wanted from that prompt? And what it created was this really nice system prompt for me that seems to have a lot of what I'm looking for. So we'll just use that as a starting point. I highly advise that you try to do something like that. You'll get much better GPTs if I have a chance to. Put down a couple conversation starters. I know I'm rushing through this because I'm about to get to the most exciting part. All right. The next thing is there are these files that I had when I was generating all of the brainstorming notes that I had, what I thought brainstorming was, all the different definitions of spark and stretch and all of this other kind of stuff. Go watch that video. It's got a lot of information about that kind of thing. So I've put those files in here as source information that it can always use when it's trying to help you brainstorm. And then there's this recommended model and boom, we've hit the most exciting part. This is brand new. You can recommend a model. And I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to recommend that it's the O3 model for anybody that's using this because you're brainstorming and generally brainstorming works best with a thinking model. Not always, but generally I'll even add the code interpreter and uh, data analyst just in case somebody puts data in here and really wants to kind of look through the data and brainstorm what's inside of data. I think that makes sense as well. But this one thing here, this is the special sauce. So the last thing I'm going to do very quickly is I'm going to create a simple little image for or the avatar of the brainstormer that we have over here. And then I'm going to save it and we're going to run it real quick and I'll show you the very last trick. We're almost done here. Okay, so this is what our brainstormer is going to look like. I'm going to create this. I'll even put it in the GPT store for anybody that wants to be able to use it called the brainstormer. And let's go take a look at our GPT. Okay, so now we're back here. Brainstormer sticking out, of course. I'm going to collapse my sidebar so we can really see it here. 
What's most important here, and this is very exciting, I can't say how exciting this is, this kind of custom GPT, it has a lot more functionality than just being able to put in system instructions and a couple source files that it can read from, but that really is already in a, a magical unlock in a lot of cases. So this brainstormer will allow you to drop any file in that you want, in meeting notes, thoughts, whatever you might want to put into it, and then it will ask you the question of, well, what do you want to do with this context? So Let's see that in action real quick. Okay, let's try some brainstorming. Give me a simple meal plan for family dinners this week. I've got two picky kids. They'll eat pasta tacos and chicken nuggets. That's kind of me. And I don't want to spend more than 30 minutes cooking each night. And this one we already indicated that we want simple meal plans. So we actually want it to go through a spark. So it runs a spark right away. And at the end, it kind of says, does this cover what you need? Would you like to stretch, add creative twists, refine, or decide on a grocery list? Let me know. All right, really cool. Let's do another one. Look, new chat inside of the brainstormer chat GP or... The, uh, custom GPT. That's kind of awesome right there. I'm stuck on what to do next in life. I've done freelance design and some project management, but I'm bored. I like working with people and I've been curious about teaching or maybe writing something, but I'm not sure what direction makes sense. What paths should I explore? Sounds like you're an exciting crossroad. What would you like to do with this? Would you like to generate surprising new career angles? Spark ideas? Deepen or elaborate on teaching? Group your interest into skills or patterns, critique the strongest options, prioritize one or two paths. So this is the kind of idea that this can now ask questions. Great. So let's say we want to, let's stretch. So these are the different stretch techniques that it's using, the 10 times or one tenth times. And another one is empathy swap or extreme twist. These are just different techniques. So it's saying, okay, take your teach and design and creative PM work, go 10 times, build a global cohort based online program or focus in and host on one hour uh, design for non-designers lunch and learn for local co-working space. So this is one of those techniques you can ask again and again, and it'll try to brainstorm in new ideas. Very, very cool. It's raining, the kids are bored, and I don't want more screen time. What are some silly homespun games we can make up and play with stuff we already have at home? So again, it asks, would you like to come up with new ideas, take a couple ideas and really amp them up, cluster ideas, refine ideas, let's spark. Here's a grab bag of goofy, use what you've got games. All right, let's say they used scamper, substitute, combine, adapt, modify, and put to use and eliminate and reverse. So this is one brainstorming technique. So substitute, laundry basket, ski ball. Okay, combine, pillow fort, mini golf, reverse, backward treasure hunt. All right, these are awesome already. Random word roulette, where you pick a random word and use that word and try to create analogies from your problem against that word to see if it spawns new ideas. Their word here is banana. Banana balance relay. Walk across a masking tape line with balance in any household item. Sponge Lego on your head. Okay. Echo. Echo tag. One kid makes a funny sound. The other. The others tag the nearest object that can mimic it. Okay. Worst idea wins. Brainstorming the most useless games, then flip them fun. Sock swamp fishing. Tie paper clips to socks. Fish for little toys scattered on couch cushions. Swamp lily pads. Invisible hopscotch. Kids must remember an imagined hopscotch grid you describe, but never draw. Okay, so this is kind of the fun of all of this, but let me get to the biggest point. We've already talked about it. This is great. I hope you get use out of it. But what's very interesting is we can now change the models. So this is a really important step inside of these. I could not create this brainstormer when I videoed just earlier this week because custom GPTs were locked to a specific model, and I think it was 4.0 that they were all locked to. A really good model, but it was not a thinking model. So all custom GPTs were limited from thinking. It's something we all thought they would eventually add, and it's taken a really long time. But this is almost a better way for them to add it. It's more elegant to say, the creator can say, here's the model they think would work best with what we're doing, and you can choose one at any time to go back and forth. Really very cool. I just wanted to share this. I thought this was neat, along with a couple other things that I think they've released. There was also some announcement they were releasing a new record feature that you'd be able to record the audio on your computer and other input and output mechanisms so that it will be able to keep meeting notes like a lot of these systems are already doing. So they're making a lot of big strides, but not really announcing them real broadly. I find that really exciting. All right, I just wanted to share this one real fast. I hope you saw some of the brainstorming stuff. Go to the GPT store and find the brainstormer out there. This is a very neat pattern of just saying, I have some stuff, drop a file in that you've recorded or record your voice of a problem that you have or a thought that you have and ask for some of the different brainstorming techniques. You can even ask that GPT, what are some of the brainstorming mechanisms I can use? And it'll describe everything to you ad nauseum. You'll have everything you want. It's really cool, but really good work, OpenAI. I really like that you've added the model selector to these custom GPTs. 
I find great use in them. I have a few of them that I use all of the time, even for this channel. I will take the output of this video, take the whole transcript and put it into a custom GPT that I've built long ago that says, get all of what I'm saying in here and figure out what my main point is and whether or not it's a valid point. Should I sh reshoot things? All kinds of stuff like that. So there's real value in these GPTs. I can do that just with a prompt, but I would have to type it every time and get all the same concepts in the files. So in any case, this is really cool. I hope you get some use out of custom GPTs and I hope you found some use out of this. All right, thanks for coming along on this one and I'll see you in the next one.